Hey YouTube, what's up? Welcome back. It's your girl and Known Goddess. How's everyone doing today? All right, you guys. Um, if this is your first time joining, I want to welcome you all with love and light. Peace. Uh, please like, share, subscribe, and click the notification button for when I'm coming with the latest. You guys will be notified. All right, and if you are seeking a personal reading, you already know what to do. All that information you can find in my description box. All right, you guys. Um... Let me just call in some protective energy before I speak. Uh, Mother Isis, Father God, as I open these rooms, I ask that you protect my energy, my aura. Give me clear, honest messages for those who need to hear it. Use me as a vessel. So mote it be. All right. Um, so today, while I was driving, um, I got a, a message. And this message... It was very precise. It was just like, you got people or a person who they want to see you down so bad to the point if you have children, they talk really bad about your children. Some of them are like, you know, wishing ill intent on you. Um, some of them are going as far as casting spells on your life. Now, like I said, Spells is the power of the tongue, but some of them are going as far as paying a practitioner. And you know what's so funny? I was chuckling the whole time when Spirit was giving me the download because they 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 even pissed off with the practitioner. <laughs> They're mad at the practitioner because what the practitioner told them was supposed to happen didn't happen. And so they get they're 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 on edge. I'm gonna tell you the truth. They really are. They're on edge. They wish Ill, Ill intent on you. Some of y'all should already been in the madhouse. Uh, some of y'all should already been addicted to some type of drug overdose, something, you know. Some of y'all should have been confused, walking the streets, um, dead, you know what I'm saying, if you did have an addiction. Um, if it almost took you out, but it didn't, because almost doesn't count, you feel me? Almost doesn't count. So they didn't achieve what they were expecting okay it, it wasn't accomplished and this person is having some type of illness some type of blood illness i don't know if it's diabetes i don't know if it's uh they do like dialysis or some type of something to do with the blood okay uh this could be a bloodline family member um but i heard an illness of the blood Okay, uh, that could be anything. That could be cancer of the blood. That could be HIV. It could be anything. You see what I'm saying? But I heard a blood disease. That's what they got. And they drink a lot too. This person drinks a lot. And so, um, you know, and, and the thing is, Spirit said they should not be wishing ill on your sucklings. Leave the children out of it. But this person, they deliberately talk so much shit that they talk about your kids if you have children. Okay, I don't care if they're young ones or they're older ones. They talk so much trash about your children and you. And like I said, the spell is the power of the tongue. Some of them even went as far as to paying a practitioner to get rid of you, have you in the madhouse. Uh, they were sending suicide spells, you know, have you thinking crazy to want to off yourself uh, or even death spells. And spirit is just, I was just laughing the whole way. So let's just, um, let's light this Palo Santo again. <laughs> Because it's just so funny to me. People don't realize their own spells that they put out there for others. They're really casting it for themselves as well. And they don't understand that. They 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 they're beneath them, they you know, they're beneath themselves that they don't need they they can't even they they can't, they can't even fathom the, the repercussions of their actions. And so I'm hearing boomerang. Okay, that's the word I'm hearing right now. Everything's just like t -t 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 the moment they do it, the moment they say it, it happens to them. I don't care if it's as small as walking, you know, tripping, falling in public on this. I don't care. Whatever it is they're saying or doing, it 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 backfires automatically. So, but you guys, y'all are protected. Okay? Very much so protected. All right? Just got to light this Palo Santo again. Definitely for sure. Um, it's just crazy how people think that they could just get away with shit. And, and I'm hearing Saturn. Saturn is about discipline. You know, it's, it's, it's ancestors, it, it means ancestors, it represents discipline, lessons, maturity, hierarchy, 
you know, so much more. But these people don't get it. They don't get that their actions. Look at that. Three of Swords energy. Um, they want to see you out, down, de depressed, hurt. These are people that betrayed you, okay? But you sitting right here. This Doesn't I tell you they're drinking? They go down nine of cups, broken heart and sipping. That's what they're doing with that three of swords, nine of cups. This person is absolutely overindulging in alcohol, but they're going to hermit energy, baby. You're protected by your ancestors. You're well protected. Spirit is continuing to guide you. Okay, and you're isolated from 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 their negativity. Yeah, they're you're isolated from their negativity. Okay, this person is could be a person or people, several. Who cares? Whoever, whatever. Just know that you're not you. They can't. They, I told you they're paying somebody. Eight of Pentacles. They working. They paying somebody to do the work. Mm hmm. Some of them is waiting. They're this like they're anticipating and waiting. And their patience is running weary. Yeah, it is. Chariot energy. It's sent, return to sender. They are being conquered. Because the polarities need to be balanced. Okay? You are continuing to launching forward, baby. You got control of this shit. You feel me? You know what I'm saying? So they're paying. They're paying. And they're waiting. And I heard the part that cracked me up when I said, I heard, look at that, five of pentacles and spiritual. And it's breaking their pockets too. You know what I'm saying? It's not only breaking them financially, but it's this person is broken spiritually. This person has a lack mindset. This is where they wanted you to be out in the cold. Five of pentacles, destitute, you know, struggling, living hand to mouth, penny to penny, paycheck to paycheck. You feel me? That's what they wanted for you. And don't realize with that eight of pentacles energy, all that work that they putting out there, whatever they're paying to do, Focusing on that mastery, it's coming right back to them. What we got here, Spirit? Two of Swords. Yep, Spirit says they're blocked. They can't touch an earth angel. Temperance energy. Spirit is they're blocked. Okay? They're blocked. Two of Swords energy. They don't like the fact that you are avoiding them. And they're still avoiding the fact that it's their own actions that is being reflected upon them. Two of Swords, they're being blocked and they can't touch you. Temperance energy. Things are balanced in your life. Everything, it's like the more they, the more they project, huh? The more they project um, towards you, the more protected you are. Because you're an earth angel, my collective. You feel me? <laughs> Look what the dice fell on. A 10. <laughs> That's the <their> karma. <laughs> That's the 10th house. Devil card. Oh, look at this. What's this? Three of swords again. Fell right underneath the two of swords. Look at that. Look at that. Look at this. Somebody, this, is a three, this is somebody with a bitter heart. All right. So when I was driving, I also heard, you know, when you're like, you're vomiting, but there's nothing to vomit. It's only that, that, that yellow or green fluid that, but it's really, really bitter. And then I heard bitter like guile, bitter as guile. That's how this person is. Look at them. Five of swords energy. They don't like the fact that they've been conquered. They don't like this. They don't like this, honey. No, 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 no. No, they don't like this. <laughs> they don't like this. Look at this, Six of Swords. Because why? With that Six of Swords, honey, you, you're moving on. You moved on to a calmer place in your state of frame of mind. You're tempered. You're balanced. You're healed. You restored your faith in the Most High God in yourself. Everything that they try to let uh, to take away from you, your blessings, your abus your abundance, what's destined for you. They don't like the fact that you moved on. You're pouring into yourself. You're not. You, they can't trigger you. Uh, there's nothing they can say about you. Post about you. So if I'm hearing if you guys are running into people, and they're they're telling you what people are what this person is saying about you, honey. Didn't I tell you what the force was? They sick. There's some type of illness they got going on here. Okay? There's some type of illness here, my collective. They got an illness here. Yes, they are. They, are asked, they could have heart issues. Okay? They start to lose it mentally as well. Four, that's seven, eight, nine. That's nine swords altogether right here. Okay? Yeah. That's nine swords. They, they don't like the fact that you've healed. You've already put this situation to rest. They're going to ten of swords. You let go of the betrayal. You let go of the mental anguish. You let go of the depression. Uh, you let go of everything that no longer serves you. Okay, with the ten swords total on the board here. But see, you're the only one that moved on. This person is still um, 
mentally stuck on you. This person does not like the fact that you are standing in your power with the strength card. Yep, did I tell you you're stronger? They say what doesn't kill you makes you stronger. And they're getting their karma. Justice is being served. And a lot of them is going through a legal issue as well. They're going through legal issues here. The Libra energy is here twice. We see the Three of Swords and we see the Justice card. So they're definitely dealing with their karma. All right. Like I said, the polarities need to be balanced. And that's how it is when you're ascending to be your higher self or to live in your, your higher frequency. You're going to always have it's like every level is a new devil. Right. But y'all are aware of that now because look at you who you are. Look at this emperor energy. They say, you know, what doesn't kill you, make you stronger. You're much wiser now. With this emperor energy, I feel like you're not only in this position of an emperor energy um, as a boss, as a leader, um, riding in my two-seater, something or another. <laughs> anyways, but anyways, um, with this emperor energy, you've wised up. You've matured. You've bossed up, okay? Yeah, for some of y'all, it could be a father figure here, okay? Oh, yep. Eight of Pentacles, you are working on your abundance. That's what you're manifesting, my collective. You are working on your skills day and night. A lot of them try to slow you down. Um, there was times that you kept, you had to keep repeating something here. Like you had to keep mastering your gifts in order to receive this abundance and you mastered it well. So with that Eight of Pentacles putting into hard work, it's bringing long-term stability for you, honey. New opportunities, new blessings for you. And they don't like that, baby. They don't like that. They don't like that you are launching forward. Okay, with this chariot energy, you've gained control. Um, you're, you're, you, you've you healed, uh, absolutely have healed emotionally, like I said, mentally. Everything is coming into your favor. Yeah, and they look like a damn fool. They don't like the fact that you freed your spirit. You're no longer bound. With the fool card, you are taking calculated risks. That's what you were doing when you was putting in the work. You was taking the you was taking the chance because a lot of them wanted you to be in this two of swords in fear of making any type of decision in your life. Yeah, they wanted you to be in fear. They wanted you to be held uh, bound to the broken hearts and the deception and the betrayal in your life. That's what they wanted. They wanted you to continue to repeating, you know, the would have, could have, should have's in your life. That's what they wanted you, and it didn't work that way. And so because they they like I said, I told you some of them are paying their practitioner. Um, to to do the spell work and all the nonsense that they say they are doing, and they're getting upset with that, with the spell. Yeah, they go to death card. They go to death card. Like I said, you freed yourself. You've gone through a spiritual transformation, a death and a rebirth, and now you got mental clarity. Ace of Swords. It's, I mean, everything is falling in in line for you. Once you freed yourself, you decide to go this through this transformation. And now it's bringing so much clarity. And this person is tight. They still thinking all sorts of negative shit. Okay, they all up in their head. They feel like they're in they're in prison right now. It's like a mental prison with this eight of swords energy. And this person likes to play the victim. I'm gonna tell you that right now. Look at all these swords for them. Yeah, because karma is hitting them. It's like cause and effect, baby. You know, a lot of them got legal issues as well. But not only do they have uh go ahead, then not only do they have uh the 3D court of law, they got the spiritual court of law. Thank you, spirit. They go to hierophant energy. They got the court, the court of law from the from the higher ups on their back too. Riding them like white on rice. Okay, spirit sees everything. And because of your your due diligence, because of your patience, uh, because of trusting in your faith, uh, in trusting in your higher self, and learning a lot of new things about yourself. It's like you. It's like I'm hearing. I got a new attitude. So God sits high and watch low, and that's what I said. They're not only in physical court, but they're in spiritual court. You feel me? Yes. <laughs> Thank you, Spirit. You feel me? So you know what's this rolling off the top right here? Yeah, lovers' energy here. Lovers can represent anybody, family members. Um, this could be some of y'all ex lovers. This could be even somebody a Gemini. All right. Oh boy. They they big mad. <laughs> I said this in my last reading. They are absolutely let me get the other deck. I know the deck I want. Eight of Wands, look at you, unstoppable. Why? With this Eight of Wands energy, you've planted so many seeds for yourself. Okay, and even though they try to slow you down with that Five of Pentacles, right? Keep you broke, having you in fear and wanted you to be blindfolded. They didn't want you to take the blindfolds off and see your worth. They didn't want you to see them for who they are. They wanted you to, you know, keep living under the rose-colored glasses. You see what I'm saying? All right, some of them here is, like I said, they're in spiritual jail and uh, uh, actually 3D jail here, okay? Um... 
With the Eight of Pentacles, Eight of Wands energy, didn't I remember when I said you was mastering your skills here? You was putting into work and all them seeds that you planted. Now everything is going to come back at you like wrap. Just like how things are being returned to them. That's how things that they was trying to slow down and stop for you is coming towards you. Because you've been planting these seeds and aligning yourself to your purpose. So that's that life purpose right there. When I see the Temperance card, Six of Swords, Strength card. This person never imagined that, you know, you would get over them. They never imagined that you would become much wiser. You wised up on these people. You know what I'm saying? You bossed up. You know what I'm saying? And with that Eight of, Ace of Pentacles, Emperor energy, what I see here, Eight of Pentacles, some of y'all are starting your um your business some of y'all are starting an online business okay whatever it is if it's if if it has something to do with uh counseling uh communication you're a great speaker you know what I'm saying spirit is blessing you with so many new opportunities look at that ace of wands baby you're an inspiration you are here to inspire the world and others around you all right and it's like you know you're coming into your soul tribe energy each one teach one okay each one teach one and that's what's going on here and look at this and even though when i say the eight of eight of wands and ace of wands nine of wands energy this energy for me is resilience you were dragged through the mud but you knew one day you was going to get this blessing and this blessing right here the ace of wands all that work that you put in all the action every seed that you planted they're about to, you're about to reap the benefits because we see the ace of wands we see the eight Eight, ace of pentacles we see the ace of swords you know what i'm saying we see the emperor energy we see the strength card yo this is beautiful look at them sitting here toxic still obsessing over you this is didn't i tell you i picked up that 10th house capricorn energy devil that 10 okay yeah this person is sitting here still obsessing they're wondering how the fuck what judgment they get their karma okay they don't like the fact that you made an absolute solid decision to no longer look back no more. I'm not looking back. There's no if, ands, or buts. There's no doubts anymore. You know, there's no would have, could have, should have for me anymore. They go to judgment card, baby. I told you they're getting their judgment. Yeah, they are. Yeah, they are. And I'm here. You got. They got to pay the piper when I see the devil card. So they're feeling bound by their. And this is the, the judgment and the devil card here. They can't blame nobody. You know, the seed that you sow is what you reap. It is what it is. It is what it is. You see what I'm saying? Look at them feeling miserable. Four of cups, ten of swords, nine of wands, seven of swords. All their sneaky behavior, everything that they was doing, all the lies, the deception, whatever they thought they was going to keep getting away with, they didn't get away with it, boo-boo. They didn't get away with it because you see this person holding that five swords. This is where it is. They, they they were a liar. They were a manipulator. You see what I'm saying? They didn't want you to have any type of mental clarity for yourself. This person thought they could just keep lying to, cheating, sneaking, shortcutting, and think they're going to get away with that. Spirit says, no, with that five of swords. No, this is like a thief in the night. This is somebody that wants to harbor your soul, your mind, your body. They want to, if they could keep you in a bottle and lock you up, they will. Look at them. Five of cups sitting here. This is not remorse when i see this five of cups this is regret that they could not keep getting away with with the bullshit ten of swords yeah this is this is the this they wanted to cause so much pain in your life go ahead they want to cause so much pain in your life Okay, with the Ten of Swords here. Yeah, yeah, they wanted you not to have any friends. They didn't want you to have any lovers. They didn't want anybody around you. They wanted you to be a wounded warrior. They wanted you to be isolated. They wanted to keep you dragged through the mud. You know what I'm saying? They didn't want that. Nah, look at this person is envious. Look at that Five of Swords again. It stood out right here when I seen it on the Seven of Swords. Look at them holding them Five Swords. Look at them. Look at, and then it confirms again with it. Yo, th this person is so jealous, bitter, envious in competition with you some of y'all probably didn't even know this person was competing with you for some of y'all is somebody that you work with okay there go the lovers again they wanted you to be in competition for look at them lovers okay it could be a gemini all right they don't like the fact that you they can own the, with the two of wands energy the only thing this person can do is like they're sitting and they're observing you from a distance so they, this person is spiritually attacking you you know what I'm saying? Since you turned your back on them, since they, they can't get a hold of you anymore, they, they ain't got a grip on you anymore. No, because they don't. They know that they can no longer have the power of persuasion over you. You found your inner strength. All right, I'm here in guiding light. Two of Wands, High Priestess. There go that guiding light, baby. You feel me? And that's what I said with this High Priestess energy. I said I picked up a practitioner. Two of Wands. This practitioner tell them, wait, don't worry, keep observing. It's gonna come to fruition. 
That's a lie. Nothing is coming to fruition. What's coming to fruition is their own demise. The jealousy, their bitter envy heart. This person is bitter as guile. That's all I heard today. Bitter as guile. Nine of swords. Look at them. Stressed out. Can't sleep. They're being haunted by their own demons. Whatever work they're doing, whatever their thoughts are, this eight of swords energy, this person is being haunted by your ancestors as well too. Whatever souls they went to that gravesite to summons. Yeah, because some of them did go to the day. I'm telling you, some of them went as far as paying a practitioner to do this work for them. But there you go, baby. You're abundant and you're flowing. This self-love is what caused you to heal. Self-love, the blessings from above. Okay, the love of your ancestors, the love of the Most High God with this Ace of Cups right here. You're flowing, you're abundant, and you're intuitive. You won't woke. Okay, you won't woke. <laughs> Yo, what else can I pull here, Spirit? What's, what's the scoop on this person? Oh, hold on. I know the deck I want to pull. Hold on. Spirit says to pull it to show you how this person is. But, you know, they can't, there's there's nothing they can do. That's why they stress. Nine of Swords, Eight of Swords. Look at all these Swords. Devil card, Five of Cups, Ten of Swords, uh, Two of Swords, Four of Swords. And it's, it's making this person physically ill. It's even, they even start to lose their mind because they're seeing these shadows, these demons, but it's, it's, it's their own demons. You feel me? What they're seeing is their own reflection. Okay, so we're going to do the shadow side oracle here. All right, didn't I tell you this person got a, they got a bad temper, yo. They, they pissed. I told you they pissed off with the high, with the um, practitioner. Yeah, look at this fear, anxiety. Now they in fear because why? This is where they wanted you. They wanted you to be in fear with that two of swords, eight of swords all up in your head. Some of them wanted you to off yourself. Didn't I tell you some of y'all was supposed to be in a madhouse? Yeah, they were sending them suicide spells. You feel me? <laughs> they wanted you to be in prison power hungry mm -hmm. this person wanted to dominate you they didn't want you to have no self empowerment they didn't want you to be awake wake. they didn't want you to know yourself no no this is somebody who's in competition with you for some of y'all it's your ex person it's your ex person lover okay I've been picking that up a lot look at this ego that's that that's that look at that Look at that. This is it right here. This person thought they were going to have dominancy over you. They thought they were going to dominate you. <laughs> oh, what's this? Flew out. Yeah, stagnation. That's the stagnant energy they wanted to create for you. But this is what's going on for them right now. It's stagnant. Everything is stagnant around them. Okay. What else is going on, Spirit? Tell me what else is going on for my for this karmic energy. Uh, pessimism. Look at that. They stressed. They were hoping that, you know, they keep, they, they want it to work, but yet still they don't want it. They, they, they can't, they're not seeing it. So they, they harassing that. They harassing, they harassing the um practitioner. Dishonesty. Didn't I tell you with the seven of swords, this person is a liar. This person is a manipulator. So this is the person that will try to persuade you uh, that it's other people doing it, but yet still they're in your face laughing and smiling and eating and drinking with you. And they're the same ones doing it and hating on the low. Huh? Wow. What else? What else is going on, Spirit? Ooh. It says untrustworthy. Didn't I just say that? They'd be the same ones in your face trying to persuade you that it's other people doing other things to you. And it's they're the one. There go at the bottom of the deck again. Temper. They're losing it. And they're paranoid and they're in fear. I told you paranoia is kicking in. You know why? Because they're seeing their shadows. They're seeing shadows. They're seeing energy. They're hearing voices too. Look at this. Y'all look at these cards. Paranoid. Look at these cards, y'all. <laughs> Yo, what's, what's this? Stress. Stress. Anything else, Lou? I told you I heard what I heard today. Sarcasm. <laughs> this person is very sarcastic. They're greedy. For some of them, this is somebody that you work with. They don't like they they seen your abundance. Some of them was getting readings and they, they knew what was to come for you already. They already knew. They seen your blessings ahead. They seen your boss up with this emperor energy. They seen the strength. They seen the ace of cups. They seen all of the abundance that was to come. They seen everything that was aligned for you, my divine. They hated you for your spiritual gift. They didn't like the fact some of y'all got new whips, new cars out here. They didn't like that. They didn't like that you were stepping up in your job, in your position, getting that boss position. They didn't like the fact that it's like everything that you wanted, everything that you prayed for, everything is manifest. They didn't like this. Look at these major arcanas. Come on now, y'all. Ace of Cups, Ace of Pentacles, 
the emperor, the chariot, the temperance. Are you kidding me? Ace of swords, ace of wands, strength. Okay, what else have we got here as a major for y'all? Huh? And the most high God is all around them. Look at the hierophant, look at the judgment, and look at the justice. Look at their look at what they're getting. Look at this for them. Justice. Ju this is all spiritual cards. They are getting an ass whooping. That's why they losing it. And they mad. They thinking it's you doing something to them, not realizing they're doing it to themselves. <sighs> um, you can hate me now, but I won't stop now. When you are a child of the Most High God, when you sow good seeds, when you plant good seeds out here, because with this Eight of Wands energy, y'all are online for some of y'all. This person is a very imposing energy. This person is very invasive. They're going to try to come over here and rush on in and try to figure out what's going on with you. But use your discerning, okay, my divine? Masculine, divine, feminine, use your discerning spirit, okay? Because this person out here, they don't like the fact that they, you freed yourself. And they, they out here looking like a fool. Everything that they talked about you, said about you, it's the opposite. People are seeing them in a different light. You feel me? Yeah, Eight of Pentacles, so much abundance is coming in for you, but you mastered it. You put the work in, though. You were patient. You were patient with yourself with that temperance energy. You healed. You took one step. You put one foot in front of the other on a day-to-day -day basis. You mastered it. You took your time. You had your falls, but when you fell, you picked yourself up and you learned from those mistakes. You see what I'm saying? Look at them. They're greedy and they're power hungry. Now, for some of y'all, it's a work situation. This person is very shady and they're going to obsessive card. And there go the rage card. They're feeling withdrawn. They're losing their patience. They wanted you in this indecisive energy. That's the two of swords. And they're very invasive. Okay. But here you are as a workaholic. You put that work in, like I said. Patience, time, energy. This person is lazy and they are clingy. They are absolutely ungrateful. And all that manipulation did not work. They're very violent and they are possessive. Some of them are still lusting over you and they're coming off like they're a perfectionist, but they're really not. And they're very judgmental and they are defensive and disrespectful and insecure. All right. And reckless with that fool card. All right. Look at, look at, look at that defensive face. Does that look like that look like Mr. Ed T um, to the 10th power right there? If you ask me, you feel me? They're actually absolutely reckless. They feel insecure. They're, they're disrespectful. Yes, they are. They got a mouthpiece on them, honey. And they're very defensive. Okay? <laughs> well, that's their issue. Look at them. Selfish as hell. This is a selfish bastard. All right? Very much so selfish. And that's what's going on for them. So let's see what's going on for you, my collective, away from the tarot cards. Because as much as they want to see you down and out and create stagnation in your life, they, they, they're wasting their time. You see, they're obsessed with you. You guys are very spiritual as well. Okay? Some of y'all are online. They do. Some of y'all are online as a tarot card reader. Or they're getting online uh, tarot card readings on you as well, like I said. Um, but you moved on. You moved on. You moved on. This person is living in regret. It's not remorse with this five of cups. It's sad. They're in a place of darkness. They don't know where to find themselves out of the situation because they, they dug a rabbit hole for themselves. You feel me? This person is definitely, they can't mess with a divine. Look at that eye on that crown. You woke, baby. You're spiritually aligned. You know who you are. You woken up to knowing your purpose in life. And you're very gifted as well. So like I said, some of them were pissed off because they were wishing death spells on y'all for some of y'all here. Okay? They was paying somebody to um w wishing death upon you. Okay? They even worried about your love life. Who you got? Who you with? Who you loving? Who you want to be hugging? You feel me? So whatever they going through right now. What's this? Three, six, eight cups. Look at that. They're mad because you walked away. You left all the baggage, the emotional baggage behind. They don't like that. No, they don't. No, they don't, my collective. But that's too bad, so sad for them. You know what I'm saying? Let's get the yin yang oracle and then we're going to close this reading out. Oh, boy. There go my high priestess. There go the self high, higher self activation. And there go the eight of cups of me. Finding the courage and the strength to walk away. You packed your shit. You're awakening and remembering who you are. Okay? 
They wanted to be in this situation. They wanted to keep you in this. They, they, they think that they, they want to keep you in this energy of being triggered. You know, they want to create conflict for you, the disharmony. But I feel like whoever they with, this is what they're matching now. It, either her or him. This is what they're dealing with now on their own. Um, uh, They don't like the fact that you got this mental breakthrough, epiphany. You've awakened. You feel me? They're feeling rejected, lost, and fragmented because that's where they wanted you. But no, you're here. They're here. Okay? It's like, like I said, the tables have turned. You know what I'm saying? For some of y'all, this is your twin flame. I keep, I'm trying to avoid the twin flame energy, or this is your twin flame going through this. Okay, this is your twin flame going through this. Yes, yeah, there it could be your twin flame karmic that's spying and watching you. Yep, they go to deception and the temptation. Okay, your your twin got tempted into a, a karmic energy. Yep, um, they go to North Node. You've ascended. You found your purpose. Then I said that purpose, that temperance card is finding your life's purpose, your spiritual gift, awakening to who you are now, what you're here to do on this in this lifetime. Okay, yeah, you got a renewal on life. This is my uh, renewal and spark card. Is my star card. Okay, all your hopes and wishes and dreams are coming true. As I say, dreams. There it go. Messages are being received by the most high God. You are always intuitive. You have that inner light, that inner eye, that third eye. You won't woke. You're focused on your expansion. Okay. Yes. Action, courage, and new beginnings. Jupiter again, expansion, third eye, getting those messages, baby. Cause you decide to take off the, the mask. You decide to real, you realize when you took off the mask and realize, you know what? I can't be living a lie. You're not going to keep me under these rose colored glasses. And ever since you've done that, honey, this is what's been co coming into your life. Stability, harm, harmony, and flow within yourself. Okay. Within yourself, my collective, within yourself, you had to, you had to take it off. It wasn't easy. Believe me, it wasn't easy, but you did it anyway. Yeah, this is where they wanted you. All right. And you decide, you know what? No more of the past. No more feeling in lack. No more suffering. I'm done. It's time for a new attitude. So they're stuck here. And this is where you're at. Earth energy. There it go again. Capricorn, Taurus or Virgo. You're well-rounded. You're complete because it's all due to self-love and creating that in, in yourself intentionally, all right? You've taken leadership. You've done that inner work and healing while they're still here in lack. And here it is. What do I see peeking? I see the Leo card, Aries, Leo, or Sag. I could be talking to you. You, took, you, you. you got the bull by its horns. You're taking leadership of your life. You are feeling confident. You are passionate about your the new you. You found a new love for yourself. You just It's like a, something ignited you, you know what I'm saying? And here go the strength card, like I said. And self-empowerment. Awaken. You've risen from the ashes, baby. So it is all good. And you will be having a reason to celebrate. Abundance. That abundance in your life could be anything. Okay? Your health, your wealth, your mental strength, your finances. Everything is looking up for you. You feel me, my collective? Yeah. They want. They still right here. <laughs> there go the avoidance and stalemate energy. That two of swords energy. Okay? That's where they at. Uh-huh. And things are being balanced. They go to karma. They go to balance. They go to justice. Bye. Over it. Over it. Oh, my goodness. Wow. They mad because you right here. They big mad. <laughs> but anyways, my collective, yeah, look at this. Wish fulfillment ever since you distance and retreat yourself from this person. And here go a new offer. Didn't I tell you new love is coming for you? There's an offer of love coming in for you. New one. But that's when you're ready, my collective. This person don't mind being a family person with you. Okay? This person doesn't mind being family with you. Okay? All right, this person that's coming in, this new offer that's coming in, this person is somebody who's family orientated, somebody who wants to commit. And if you guys can still um, conceive, you will be having a new baby here, new love, new marriage. OK, we've seen the Hierophant. We've seen the Ace of Cups. Uh, we've seen the Ace of Pentacles. Uh, yeah, it's, it's all brand new. It's all brand new. And that's what they stressed out about. Yeah, but you retreat. Right now, I feel like some of y'all are distancing yourself from everyone and feeling emotionally fulfilled within yourself. You're doing that self-love, self-healing energy, okay? And yeah, look at them. They don't like the fact that they ain't got no control over you anymore. So I feel like the tables have turned. Some of them are with someone that has them under control, got their foot on their neck, okay? Could be a Gemini, Aquarius, or Libra. Okay, but spirit continue to guide you. You got that mental clarity again, like I said, with that air sign. All right, spirit is guiding you. Some of y'all are still healing, so continue to do the inner work, all right? You, you'll get there. You're forming a new structure, solid foundation for yourself, okay? So continue that. Just trust in divine timing for some of y'all here, all right? I wish you guys love and light. Yep.
It's your girl, Unknown Goddess. Bye.